Hello, dear friend, Thomas Manton IV, God's success strategist and his prophet to the nations, and your friend, your uh, teacher, mentor, coach, helper. And I love doing it. I've been speaking about the power of God, secrets of his power, and volume three now the lord spoke to me about an hour or two ago i've been very busy and i'm on my way to another meeting the lord spoke to me to uh, uh to, to deal with power for service i'm gonna do this briefly and i'd like to do this more in a studio setting another message on this with powerpoint and television program and all this one of the visions, I was just thinking about writing a five-point vision, of course, is wealth. Of course, it's having a great uh, office and house. Of course, it's great relationship without going into so many details and all those. And then uh, television, media, and, um, you know, the team and the personnel and the staff and all that. I said that in a, in a long two sentences, but there's about five or six points in there. And one of them is television. God told me he wants me on television. I just, it's just the will of God that I do that. And we have to reach many more people. I'm, it's one of the burdens I have is to reach more people. You know, with these social medias and then the way they work and the way they play games with them and all this, you know, it's limited. It's, it's almost nil compared to, I mean, it is nil compared to who we're reaching. Of course, we're blessing people, but and I'm not but and the, and the fact that uh, the, the powers that are on their way to hell unless they have a turnaround um, that's where they'll end up they're, they're really playing with fire by messing with the free speech that we have in our Constitution and the voice of God to go out to the masses and believe you me it's gonna get done I worship God. I love God. I, I, I'm, I'm His. I'm His servant. I was just singing this song in the car. I was driving over in my beautiful vehicle and the, under the palm trees, looking out through the sunroof, the sky, blue sky, and I took a pic few pictures of it. I should put them on my Facebook page. I will do. I will do. Just a few moments ago, I mean, not even 10 minutes ago, I took these photos. The last night I took a photo of my beautiful personal vehicle. Last night, last night, Thursday, today's Friday, the yesterday, it's not an old photo. I take good care of it. It's waxed and shined and tire shined and all that. It looks gorgeous in the light and uh, reflection, you know, super shiny, super clean. I take good care of things that God's given me. Um, and the, but these are power for service. You know, if you don't have certain things, well, how are you gonna do anything? Forgive the noise in here, it's very loud. There's a lot of action this time of day. Uh, but I'm, mic I'm mic'd up, so. Mike, is that Mike or Mike? Mike and Mike. Mike with the mic. I'm Thomas with the mic. But we know great man named Mike, Dr. Mike. Bless him. What a phenomenal general in the kingdom. And uh, a couple of other mics too, yeah. Another other doctor mics too. Who knows what we know? So it's a good name. But Mike M I C M I C apostrophe D, you know, Mike Rafone. So it's direct, but maybe there's some background. I don't know. Maybe there's not. I'm talking too much about that. Let me not take time on that. Time is too valuable. Now, thank you for those of you that are coming on. Share this. Please listen attentively and then share this and I will be talking with you when I have a moment. Several people I really have to have a moment to talk to them and I will get the time with my busy, busy schedule, but I will get the time to talk to our dear friends around the world. I'm looking forward. Now, as I was saying, this is apropos for what I was saying, part of the vision is to reach more people. Television does that, radio does that, internet does that, platforms do that, apps do that, all kinds of stuff. So I want to get to the to the place where we are able to just, you know, one click, two clicks, three clicks, whatever, and be talking to multitudes of people in an instant, without hindrance, without censorship, without algorithms and choking things and all of this foolishness that's going on. 
But I'm glad to be talking to you today. You few that are here, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm honored. God bless you, dear, in Brazil. I see you there. God bless you, Brother Frank, Sister Mary, Sister Diane, Evangelist Woman. And there's another picture. I don't recognize the photo on the top, but I got to get right into it because I'm dashing to another event and I have to be on time. So I want to say this, the, the power for service, all of these tools I'm talking about are power for service. Your relationship empowers you for service. Your house empowers you to have a good, comfortable life that you can do more. You understand? God thought of all this first. And um, uh, good vehicle, good house, good office, good equipment, good friends, good people, good staff, good teams, good networks, good relationships. All of these things are power for service. Now I've been talking about the Holy Spirit and the Holy Spirit is so awesome. I was listening to this song I wanted to say a minute ago on the way here by uh, uh, a great, great psalmist called It Is You. You know that song, It Is You? It is you, it is you, it is you that I love. It is you, my Lord and King. I absolutely know that it is you, it is you, it is you that I worship. Holy, holy, worthy, yes, you're worthy. How I love you. Lord. I love that. I love when they have a lot of singers in the background, like a choir, and all the notes integrate and that, you know, oscillate and synchronize, and that heavenly and a glory and anointing comes on it to worship God. You know, worship, worship is a key to power. And then power, you know, comes with the anointing. There's the ice crusher over here. They're always doing something, yeah? This guy is shoveling ice and crushing it right over there. Thanks for the noise, son. All right, there's that. It's crazy here. A lot of people here. Anyway, this is a brief one. I'll do, I'll do another one on this because I have more to say. I want a lot of scriptures. I'm not going to take time to teach uh, formally uh, verse by verse right now, but I just wanted to give this exhortation just for a few moments about the power for service. God wants to use you and everything I've just talked about is already a message in itself. I've, in five minutes, I've done it. I talked about worship. I talked about all the things that we need to get us situated in life for service, for service. And then the master ingredient is this mysterious thing we call the anointing, which is the endowment of power from the Holy Spirit, but it's not the Holy Spirit himself. Because the Holy Spirit himself is the third person of the Godhead, and he's a person, you understand? He's God, he has, uh, uh, he's, he's, a, he's the creator. So he's not a thing, he's not a substance. But this thing, the anointing, you know, his presence, the way it comes in the atmosphere, and his anointing, the way it empowers you. It's, it's a mystery, but it's something amazing that God puts upon you and brings through you and saturates saturates you in so that you can uh, flow but it's not him please don't ever misunderstand that the anointing is not the Holy Ghost and the Holy Ghost is not the anointing the Holy Spirit the Holy Ghost we call him affectionately also in the, the book of Acts calls him this but you could say the Holy Spirit God himself God Almighty he is People video bombing me over here. Video, what do you call that? Video appearing? I don't like the second part of that word. Not a good word. These, these young lady, girls just come running up to me. They know I'm, and they walk out as far as over here, and then they went, whoo, and the other friend went, oh, they try to, maybe they'll get behind me and do this, you know. I hope they do something that's appropriate. Anyway, a lot of people here, a lot of fun. You know, I do this because I love people. I love to be in the midst of people. And the younger I get, I love people more. You know, when you're young and stupid and you still haven't learned everything, you know, you're not stupid, but I mean, you haven't learned everything yet, you could just be in a cave by yourself and you think you're happy. I need my alone time. When you get on a little bit in it, you say, I can't succeed without people. I don't need to be smothered by people. 
but they do help me for service. All these things I'm talking about are for service. And sometimes we differentiate so many things that we don't know the master formula of all of this that I'm talking about and all the ingredients that flow in life are for the purpose of getting us ready for service unto the king, for the king, the king through us, the Holy Spirit through us to touch the world with the gift and power and talent and glory and anointing that he's given us to make the world a better place to live because we were here. So you need wealth, you need a good house, you need a good vehicle, vehicles, you need a good a bunch of equipment, you need a good team, you need a good building to work your, your business enterprise through. If it's ministry, you have your office and studio and all that, or if it's a church, you also have your sanctuary, you can have all of them together, and you can flow there. You need people that are, that are, that are excellent in, in what they do to help in your, your reaching people through marketing, through not advertising marketing the way the world calls it, but these things that also work to reach people. You know, because like if you're not going to reach people, there are methods to doing that. Also, let's not trash people in the world that have figured it out and they're making millions of dollars. And, uh, you know, they have their way and they could be worldly and they could be crazy and they could be brash and, you know, sharp and rude and maybe seem a bit arrogant when in their real heart they're trying to help people and they're also helping themselves. But, you know, they've figured out a lot of things with this marketing thing and the internet and how to do it. And they're making so much money. And they want to help people succeed in business. I really do believe they do. That's evident that they've demonstrated that. But they want to help themselves and make millions of dollars. So they're successful in the financial realm, too. But some of the method, here's the point. Some of the methodology in that is ways we can reach people. Are you getting me? So we can use this for the gospel to reach the ends of the earth and people all over the planet by using these methods. God is, God is huge. He made it all. He made all brilliance. Anything that's smart, anything that was made that, that is made, anything that's made that was made came from his brilliance. There's nothing the evil world has but to copy his brilliance from the beginning. You know, so when you grow up, you go up, you got to grow up in your mind and stretch your imagination a bit and say, hey, everything is not just in the four corners of the church, four walls of the church, because all the people and populations of the nation are not there. So we have to find another way to reach them. And it's been on my mind, this is part of the vision, to reach more people. Ah, my nose. This is the vision. The vision is to reach as many people with the word of the Lord to help transform their lives as possible in the shortest amount of time through every means of, of media and every methodology that's good to reach them in the shortest amount of time possible, the most amount of people in the shortest amount of time possible in the most effective way. That is, the, that is my vision statement right now. Including that we need a lot of money, including that we need a lot of friends and help, including that we need to be very comfortable, we need to be very uh, sorted in the way of, of, of finance and provision and doing things and getting on with the program that heaven has to reach the ends of the world. Now the clock is ticking, tick tock, tick tock, clock, 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 did you notice? So we have to get on with doing things quickly, you don't have time to waste. You don't have time to lose. You don't have time to sit around. You don't have time to, uh, you know, for buffoonery and tomfoolery and <laughs> funny words. And being just slow. You need to be quick and aggressive. And that's, that's of God. You need to be confident. I'm confident. Can you see I am? This is all over me. You know, in the Holy Ghost. Not, pers not just, you know, ego or personhood or thinking about yourself in a certain way. No, about the power of God, because we're on a mission. Anointed for service. That's what I want to call this. Anointed for service. The power of God for service. Everything in your life. Everything in your life. 
Oh yes, Lord, speak to us. Kamo chilebo te kariatina ma manzolono te bon te alas tiaka to shebe. Mente vaki unga la soko teba mata to sokadara ki te nebo sherebebe. Ma bros ke ke matara bakuchi ke ti mutsam to dance la fase te. I'm speaking in tongues. But by inspiration here, the Lord is saying, and the Lord is uh, interpreting this, what I've just said in tongues in the spirit, I'll tell you. It's, I have better ways for you to do things, says the Lord. I have better ways to do things, says the Lord, for you to get things done. And I am going to help you. 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 I am going to raise you. I'm going to promote you. I am going to upgrade you. As I've said before these days, I'm going to cause people to come into your life that have the solutions and the answers, says the Lord. I'm going to cause people to come as you requested, so I will do. I'm going to bless you. And I've been saying this for the last, not even several weeks, but a few months. The Lord spoke to me a few months ago and said, there's people that are observing you, that love you, or that would care that want to bless you. I'm receiving in the spirit property, vehicles, buildings, houses, lands, team staff, ways of doing things, cash, uh, cash gifts, you know, uh, uh, as provisions and funding for the projects that I want to do. I, I'm receiving that in Jesus' name. I am a world-class receiver. I am a receiver. You, you can't just be a giver. You have to be a receiver. And I say officially, I'm a receiver. Some, God's talking to somebody. God is speaking to someone. It's very special. So bless this man right here, Thomas Manton IV, so that I can be more equipped for service. You know, any money I receive is for that. Any land or property I receive is for that. Any vehicles I receive is for that. Any relationships I receive is for that. I'm completely sold on this thing. Sold on the gold, and I wasn't convinced by anybody. It's heaven's call and commission. God himself convinced me. Remember Paul was so persuaded when he preached to that he, heathen king Agrippa in the book of Acts, the king says, boy, you're, you're really convinced. You're almost convincing me. Because you're convincing. You're, con you're so convincing. Well, he was convinced. He was, he was so persuasive because he was so persuaded. I'm there. I'm there, purpose of my life. Any relationship I have is for this. Any friendship I have is for this. Anything I do is for this. Even if I, I just got some golf clubs. I wanna play golf, I haven't played yet. I haven't made the time and I play golf is to get out there and stretch my muscles so I can mobilize more for service. Let's say you wanna go bowling or fishing or swimming or it's for recreation to make you feel more relaxed or even stronger to exercise. I have an exercise appointment. In a little while, I'm going to this cycling class at the gym. Imagine that. And someone just told me about this other thing where you get your, your vascular rate up to a certain level for a certain amount of minutes in an hour. And then when you get to that point and keep it for a certain time, even when you stop, it puts the body in fat burn mode for the next 36 hours, something like that. Just, I was just hearing about that on the phone this afternoon. I'm into all this. Why? Because I want to live long. I want to feel strong. I want to have energy. I want to be healthy. I want to live right. I want to do right. I want to be right. I want to be the best. I want everything in my body to work. I want everything in my life to work. For what? For service to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Do I get blessed in that? Absolutely. No apology. Do I enjoy life doing it? Absolutely. Do I get do I get paid well? And do I? Can I? You say, Prophet? Can I succeed and be blessed and have all I want? Absolutely. Trillion percent best car you want to drive do it just be careful because you know people if you're if you're a preacher people look at you know, you know so someone's going to take the heat for driving a Rolls Royce remember this this gentleman uh, bought his wife a Lamborghini SUV and took hell on earth over it and the other man of God wanted a jet and takes hell on earth over it and the church wouldn't get with it. All they want to do is persecute. So a Saudi guy, I don't know if it was Saudi Arabia or someone from the Middle East, an oil guy who's a billionaire, just said, 
felt sorry for him, said, I'll buy you the jet, I'll get you the jet, I'll give you the jet. Your own people don't, they want to fuss and fight over it. You need it to get around, I see the value. I'll just do it. And God touched a heathen from another religion, imagine. Maybe that guy, I believe that guy, is, he's so, so blessed to have done that. Lord, save his soul and give him heaven. I, I pray that, I pray that, I pray that. So God, just to see the faith of the man of God, to get it done, it got done. For what? For service. You can look at it another way if you want. I, I can't make your opinion stick for you, but I, I know what they want to do. They want to travel to preach because that's what they do. So it's a good thing. All the rest, leave it alone. I don't have time for the debate. Because the things on that level scare the children, you know? Honey, I shrunk the devil. Remember that? Honey, I shrunk the kids. Or Honey, I scared the children. Don't scare the children. They can't handle things on that level. You got faith for it, you'll get it, and it was gotten anyway. So, all for service, that's, that's what I want to bring it right down to that. I want to put it all through that funnel, right down. It's all for service. So, just wanted to share that with you. I think I'm going to dash and come back at this uh, series and topic another time. Uh, and, and I'll keep going daily as I can on this, but I just wanted to share that. We're anointed for service. Get anointed for service. How Jesus went about doing good, healing all who were oppressed of the devil. Acts 10, 38. The Holy, with the Holy Ghost in power, because God was with him. And there's another one in uh, the Epistle of John that talks about how God anointed... No, no. How, uh, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, to destroy the works of the devil. Find that verse. I don't have time to look up the address right now. But it says, how God, uh, for this purpose, the Son of God was manifested. Meeting Jesus with the Holy Ghost to destroy the works of the devil. That's what the anointing does. More people you can reach, more service you can do, more yokes get destroyed, more devils get rebuked, destroyed, crushed, and cast out, kicked out, and people can go free. And the only thing in the end of the day that we can bring with us is souls. So get people saved. I love to see people witnessing the people. I believe every believer, every church needs to teach this as a culture in their church. Lead the waitress that's serving you to the Lord. And we've done it. We've done it. We, you know, I, I, I'm with a kind of group of people that, groups of people that do this. And I, I love that. I just love that. So uh, if you haven't confessed the Lord or you forgot that you did or you're not sure you're going to heaven, say right now, Lord Jesus, come into my heart. I receive you as my Savior. Holy Spirit, touch me, fill me. Devil, get out. You're not my Lord and Master. I'm not serving you, I'm serving God. I'm going to be saved, healed, delivered, set free. I'm going to be with God in eternity by His own special gift and grace. Jesus, I believe you died for me and rose on the third day. Say it. Jesus, I believe you died for me and rose again on the third day that I might be saved and receive God's gift of eternal life and salvation. I receive it now in Jesus' name. I'm saved. I'm on the right side. I'm crossing by my own confession and words over to the right side of the fence, right side of the garden. I'm saved in Jesus' name. That's the most important thing. You know, everything else in this world is temporary, but that's eternal. So we want to work for the eternal. Again, service by the Holy Spirit. And only the Holy Spirit can convict someone. You know, the scripture says, no one can come to the Father except the Lord draw him himself. The Holy Spirit can draw the Holy Spirit can draw someone to God. But when he's moving, it can happen just like that. I love it like when people get saved, it's like popping popcorn. You just tell them the gospel, they receive it. Because the way it was made, you know, the wind of the spirit blew. It was already arranged. We got, you know, it got connected with the right people. And you tell them the gospel and they go, like, come on, let's pray. And they do. They don't go, nah, I don't want all that church stuff, get away from me. You know, sometimes you'll run into someone like that. But it's, it's been a good free flow. I prophesy over America, and I prophesy over the other nations of the world, especially where people are a lot of places unsaved. And if it's dangerous to preach Christianity somewhere in a public setting, like in the civil society that's of another religion, I pray that God will protect the people that witness the people because some places it's very dangerous to do so. 
But in America, let everyone in church that's received the liberty of Jesus in their life and they have the gift of eternal life in them, let them learn the gospel script, you know, memorize it, tell someone God has a plan for your life and where would you spend eternity if you died today? Do you know? They say no. Say, so, well, let's pray to be sure and lead them to the Lord. Let thousands of people that are in the churches that are big and the thousands of people all do that. Let a pro I've been on this this week. I'm talking about this. I was talking with another pastor of a great, great church. He's, uh, he's, he's one of the administrative pastors of a major, major move of God under a great apostle. And I said, you know, I just foresee that and envision that small multitudes of people here will become evangelists and go out. And just everywhere they are, win souls, win souls, win souls. And the, the statistics of numbers of people getting saved in your order will just rise. Like dramatically to the multitudes of people can be done and most churches don't you know most churches they don't uh, they don't witness to anybody they hardly give altar calls they just have their culture and have their music and have their short sermon and short service to be seeker friendly and what, what does the church exist for if it's not going to lead to something eternal? Because God told me, excluding uh, just pure evangelism of, win of winning souls, but let me talk about the church for a second, as an entity, as an enterprise. God told me, in his view, the church is, the, his definition of church, God's definition of church, is a place where he manifests himself to train us to reign. Training for reigning, to train us to for eternal things, not temporary things alone. And the temporary things all lead to the eternal. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? In Spanish you say, en cuche, I mean, hear me. <laughs> and do it quick, andale, 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 do it quickly. So God wants us to be uh, trainers to help people become reigners, you know, reigning in life as kings. In this life, remember the scripture says, with, "We are to reign as kings in life," and we're king. Revelation one six also. That's one of the epistles. Revelation six also. Revelation one six. The, uh, the apostle John said, "We are kings and priests unto the Most High." So we need to bring everybody into the kingdom. All right. So be it. Get busy on that. And God's anointing you for service, Father. Thank you for the upgrades that you spoke about prophetically. Thank you for the organization, thank you for the help, thank you for the friends, thank you for the people, thank you for the resources, thank you for everything. Buildings, houses, lands, properties, vehicles, equipment, people, staff, media, platforms, ways of doing things just in brilliant ways so that the, so that the gospel can be preached to the ends of the earth. We're anointed for service. I pray a fresh wind of the Holy Ghost by your power. It's the secret of your power moving that when it comes, comes mightily upon someone to anoint them for service, and you, my friend, are anointed for service to the king for the purpose of advancing the kingdom on the, in the whole world and making the world a better place to live because you were here and you were there. And that people can be saved, healed, delivered, set free, and ultimately uh, experience the gift of becoming a king under the king and a lord under the lord. Queen under the King. Forever and ever and ever and ever. Amen. And the church said, Amen. God bless you, so be it. I'm Thomas Manton IV. My information will be we'll put on the uh, in the comments section. You can contact and partner with us. If, if God is speaking to you to help me in any way, whatever creatively He would say, you obey Him. Get in touch with me. I'm waiting to hear from you. You find me in Jesus' name. And I'll talk to you on the next broadcast. You are anointed for service to the King by the Holy Ghost, by God's own power in Jesus' name. I'm Thomas Manton IV, I love you. My website is thomasmanton.com. We're revising that, we're doing so many things. I'm also writing several books and getting ready to be do more mass media, as I've been saying, the Lord has said I need to do that. He has, uh, that's in his plan for me, as you can see. The messages I'm bringing are so vital, so powerful, I need to reach countless multitudes in the world. So thank you for helping me do that. If you're the one that has some creative solutions, get in touch with me. You want to partner with us, get in touch with me. You want to pray together, get in touch with me. 
you have a prayer request, get in touch with me. I'm waiting to hear from you. Talk to you later. Got to go. Lord bless you richly. I love you. I, I, may he bless you and empower you for great service. That your life will count as one of the champions who did something for eternal benefits and results for many people. In Jesus' name. Talk to you later.